All right, let's find the normal stress in each section of the beam. Let's find the normal stress in each section of the beam. Oh, I do need to give you the dimension of the beam. The beam has a diameter of 15 millimeters. Let's say this beam has a diameter of 15 millimeters. All right, if I want to find the stress inside section AB or the stress inside section BC, CD, or DF, I would need to cut it and solve. Let's don't take too many shortcuts. Let's cut this between A and B. All right, so to find the stress inside section AB, let's cut it. If you want to cut it and keep the right half or cut it and keep the left half, let's cut it and keep the right half. All right, so what is in? Can you see it? We could, we could guess and saw some of the forces equal to zero, right? But in would be 10 kilonewtons compression. So negative 10, I'm gonna change this to 10,000 newtons. Do you see that negative 10,000 newtons is the internal normal force inside section AB? All right, I'm gonna divide that by pi by four diameter squared, right? This is a circuit. Anytime you see a diameter, that tells you circular. So the area is a circle. Oh, it's the area of a circle, pi r squared or pi by four diameter squared. Stress inside section AB is negative 56.59 MPA. Positives and negatives mean compression or tension. All right, let's cut it inside section BC. Now, when you do this, uh, forget about cutting it before. Just redo the whole problem. I'm going to cut it right here, and I've got 10, and I've got 6. So what do I need right here? Now, the more complicated it gets, then let's just guess, and then let's sum the forces. Um, Negative n, positive 6, negative 10 equals 0. n, the math would tell me n needs to be negative 4. Now, could, did you, could you tell that from the figure? Don't, just don't take too many shortcuts. Don't go too fast. But yes, the n is 4 kilonewtons compression. Stress inside section, what is that, BC, would be negative 4 thousand newtons pi by four fifteen squared stress inside section bc negative twenty two point six four mpa negative twenty two point six four mpa what about section cd what n do i need right here if i've got uh, two six 10, if I want to, it's in static equilibrium, if I want to sum to zero, I would get an N of negative six. So this would be negative 6,000 pi by four, 15 squared, negative 33.95. And then the stress, I didn't give you an extra page to here. Now let's just squeeze this in here. Stress inside section FD. All right, why don't I come from the left side now? I could do that, but I haven't saw, there's something happening at the wall, right? The wall is a support. So if I solve for what's happening at the wall, then I could come from the left side. I haven't solved that yet, so I think I'm still gonna come from the right side. If I have 10 this way, uh, and two that way. So I've got 12 that way. I've got 11 that way. So I need another one that way. A thousand newtons in compression, pi by four, 15 squared, 5.66 MPA, stress inside section <coughs> DF. 
All right? Cut it. If you need to sum the forces to zero to solve for n, do that. So this is the stress inside each section. Anytime something changes in the x direction with the forces, then the stress might change. All right. So where do, where's the most stress inside section inside right here, section A B has the highest stress. Okay. 